Okay, let us see how to use server actions in Next.js 13 to save the data from the front-end form into MongoDB. So you can see that we have got this save block page and over here we have got this form. And after hitting the submit button, it is going to save this data, form data into MongoDB. So let us see how to do this using server actions. So for this, I have got one component as you can see here save blog page.txt so page.txt is the special file in nextjs 13 where we can keep our code and over here we have got this form as you can see and the interesting thing about the server actions is that we have got this action attribute or the prop and we give the method that we want to call after the user hits the submit button and if you notice here this function is a async function and it is using this directive called as use server. So basically what happens is that when the form is submitted, the data is sent to the server and this function gets executed on the server. Even though this function is there in this file, it doesn't get executed on the client. This data, form data is sent to the server and then you can access it this way. And this is also important to use server. This directive is important. And here you can write any uh, backend code like connecting to the mongodb or whatever but i have created one function here you can see so that i can reuse it in multiple files so if i go to this function what i'm doing is i'm connecting to the mongodb and then i'm creating the slug and here is the important thing like if you want to access specific uh, input fields data or any uh, form elements data, you can use it that way, data.get, and then the name of the field. So there will be a title, category, description. So this is how you can get it, okay? So once you get those values, basically we are creating an object over here, the blog object that we want to save in the MongoDB. Once this object is created, you can use this collection.insert1 this particular method that is provided by the MongoDB to save this blog object. So basically it is going to connect to the Mongo database and then save this particular object in the collection that we have selected before file connecting to the MongoDB. And it gets the result. If there is error, it says there is the error and that is printed in the server logs. And over here it is also showing the ID of the record that was created. Finally, we are closing that connection, MongoDB connection. That's it. That's how you can use the server actions to save data in MongoDB. Thank you for watching.